Hey everybody, what's up? It is the Umper Pro here, and welcome back to another episode of the RPG Maker VX Ace Tutorials uh, Season 2. So, in this episode, I will be going over basic events. Like, I'm not going to teach you how to make an event, but this is going to be the interface of the event uh, thing. So, let's go here. Uh, basically, what I did over here, uh, as I explained in episode 1, you got all these areas up here. If you don't know what these are, then go check out episode 1, and I will explain it all. So we're going to go to the events layer, and we're going to double click, or you can right click, let me show you. You can right click, and you can do quick event creation, where, uh, where you can choose transfer event, door, treasure chest, or in, which is the thing where you, you, get, you sleep at an inn. Uh, you can right click and click new, or you can click somewhere and press enter, or you can double click. You can also set the parties, uh, player, boat, ship, and airship here. We're going to make, we're going to do a new event, and I'm going to show you exactly what all this is. Excuse me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so this um right here you can oh headache. I'm sorry. So this is the name of your event. It's not really important, but I'm gonna name it event. Wait, my event. Oh, give me like one second. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. My head is killing me like really bad right now. Um. I think I have a migraine because like it's kind of giving me nausea too, like this headache is. Oh gosh. Okay, so let's start with the conditions. The conditions are this event will only work if this condition is met. So as you can see, if switch zero one is on, I'm not going to explain switches right now. Uh, I will explain them when I explain how events work. Again, this is the, this is going to be an episode on the event interface, which is also very important to learn. You got variable, you can have it conditional, like uh, if variable is equal to a certain number and switches are on, you can do two of them if you need to, you can do everything. Self switch, I will be explaining that as well uh, when I do events. Item, like if you have that in your inventory or if an actor is in your party. Um, right here is the graphic, you double click this and you can actually change what the event looks like and how it's going to appear on the map. You can choose from uh, your tile sets as well. If you're if you're unfamiliar with tile sets, I forgot what episode it was. Uh, I actually have an episode covering tile sets. Um, all right, down here you have walking animation. This means if it's moving, it will give the same. Like, uh, say you have it like this. If you have walking animation, when it moves right, it's going to well walk. If you uncheck everything, it's not going to change its graphic. Stepping animation is it never stops like it's always moving um, not on the map but like it's graphic like he's always in the walking position like he it looks like he's walking in place that's how that goes direction fix um, like he'll only be facing down as he moves around he'll still do the walking thing I think but he'll only be facing down throw or through this uh, allows you to pass through objects that have collisions so you can like walk through walls or this actor, you can go through this actor, or this actor can go through you or any other wall. Um, over here is where your events are going to be. So you would right click and you would, or you can double click, and I'll be explaining this in another episode. So um, up here you have new event page, copy event page, paste, and delete, and clear. Clear will completely clear out all of your stuff that you just had and make it default. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when you create a new event page, it's the same event but two separate things so you want this for example like that and uh, you over here it's a different thing I'll be explaining how to use different event pages soon so I'm gonna delete that clear this <clears throat> right here is uh, uh, autonomous movement I hope I said that right this is where you can move um, you can select random movement fixed where it doesn't move unless you tell it to approach okay random it he always like moves at random times uh, depending on the frequency is how often he will move randomly and the speed is how fast the character actually is approach will he'll approach towards the character like he'll always go towards the player custom enables this little thing right here called set move route and that actually allows you to control what that event does at all times I apologize if you heard something there's somebody banging on that wall I don't know why anyways you heard me no, okay. <laughs> right here, the priority uh, below characters, it will always be below the character. Same as characters, it'll act like a collision box, and it'll be at the same uh, level as the characters. Above characters, like you would use that for something like a ceiling object, where it's always above the player. 
or the top of a tree if you're using separate tile set things. So uh, the trigger, you, action button is when you go up to it and you talk to that event. Uh, player touch is when you run into it. Event touch is when it runs into you. Auto run is it runs at all times. As I explained, okay, auto run and parallel process, as I explained in the common events area, they auto run constantly runs and it stops everything from happening. It stops a player from moving. Uh, it stops all kinds of stuff like that. Whereas parallel process will do the same thing, but it won't stop the player and it won't stop other events. It'll run alongside them. So with that, that pretty much covers the um, event interface. So in the next episode, I will be covering how to make a basic event. All right, so I'll see you guys then. Oops, wrong window. <laughs>